With there being over 100,000 Minecraft mods, Bruh. it can be pretty difficult to find, you know, which ones are actually good. So in this video, I'll be showing you the five best mods for Bedrock Edition in 2024. And the best part about all of this is that all of these mods are completely free from the Minecraft marketplace. So anyways, we're going to be starting with the Gravestone mod. So basically, this add-on installs a new gameplay mechanic where upon death, all your gear and items will be stored. Like, you know, where the place you actually died. All right, first of all, we're going to get some random items in our inventory. Let's just do, I don't know, just this, all this stuff. Pretend like this was our inventory. And then all of a sudden, we accidentally hit this iron golem. And now the iron golem is trying to kill us. And we can't, we're trying to like defend ourselves. But obviously we can't. And we die. As you can see right now there, do you see that little thing? That's actually the gravestone. And the best part about this, when you die, you do get a map. And all you need to do is click this button and it locates. So 49 blocks away in the southern direction. That means it's 49 blocks away like this. You keep going. It keeps telling you where it is until you actually find it. So that that's the gravestone there. That's all your stuff. All your stuff's in there. And all you need to do to get your stuff back, just mine it. Boom. All your stuff is back. Now, the gravestone's great, obviously, because when your stuff dies, you, all your stuff just explodes. Every, when you die, all your stuff just usually just goes everywhere randomly this could fall in lava you know get stolen by mobs and stuff and the and and could actually despawn now when it's in the gravestone you know it can't actually despawn which means you don't have to rush your stuff immediately and you also get a map with i don't know why i did that anyways you get a map which just tells you where all your stuff is so the next mod we have is called a tnt mod and it's pretty good it's one of my favorites it actually features 15 different types of tnt i'll show you right here we have wait i think there's more than 50 anyways yeah so we have this book here welcome to okay well there's 18 new types but anyway same thing so let's search up tnt we can try we're gonna try all of these tnts out every single one all right now that we've done that uh you know let's start all right so first of all we have the gravity tnt now i like to test these different types of tnt with like what i call an experiment well they're just a bunch of host spawn eggs but anyway same thing all right so say for example is a bunch of host here and we're gonna place this tnt and we're gonna see what happens Okay, so it just puts them on levitation, and they take full damage. All right, so that's what that does. It just gives them levitation four. It's not that good compared to the other TNT, like like the Ultra TNT. Anyways, next up, we got the Implosion TNT. We're going to put that down, see what this does. It basically makes a black hole and destroys everything in its path. It's kind of... How, what the... What, where did this husk come from? Anyways, I don't know. It basically just makes a black hole destroying everything in its path. It's very small, so like, so it doesn't break the game. Anyways, all right. We're going to spawn some more husks. Next up, we got the lava TNT. Let's spawn that in. See what see what this does. Basically, yeah, just... It's just a big fat pool of lava that just, you know, obviously destroys everything in its path because these TNTs are actually broken. Next up, we got the Toxic TNT. Um, this just... This provides poison, so we're actually going to need a villager for this because these ones... <sighs> Alright, so somehow there's a few husks that have survived this. this that should be happening. Alright, next up, we're going to use a few villagers. I'm sorry, bro. We were just going to, like, use your experiments. And we got the Toxic TNT. This actually provides poison for the surrounded area for a few minutes, something like that. So right now, as you can see, I do have poison. Every time I enter this area, I will get poison three, which is obviously not good because this basically is infested now. So obviously we don't like that. Anyways, next up, we got the healing TNT. So I'll actually need to go on survival for this to show you what it does. But it is pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, it probably just heals there. So as you can see, there's a little heal thing happening and boom, we're back to full health. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it actually just does heal you, and that's pretty cool. Next up, we got the Colossal TNT. Now, I'm actually gonna get the big boys for this one. And by big boys, I mean these guys, Iron Golems, because this Colossal TNT is pretty overpowered. So anyways, we're gonna place this down. Boom. It even takes a long time for it to actually explode because of how broken it is. Yep, okay, easily. Oh my days, it's still going, still going. Bro, it actually lagged my device. That's how broken it was. But as you can see, it easily destroyed every iron golem and basically everything else in its everything else in its path, which is kind of broken. But anyways, next up, we got the earthquake TNT. So we're going to get the villagers back for this one. And we're going to put this down, put a bunch of villagers around it, see what happens here. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so it's literally creating an earthquake right now. And it basically, it actually creates an earthquake, destroying the ground and everything else. I don't even know if any villagers will be able to survive this. So it just creates an earthquake. As you can see, there are now tremors in the ground, which is obviously not good. And we're going to spawn more villagers and stuff. Next up, we got the rocket TNT. As you can see, it just flies up and it will explode. Now, if we get like wood or something, the good part about this TNT is that pretend we place wood here. If it comes in contact with anything, it will automatically explode. 
look, as you can see, it literally just explodes like that. If it touches this wood and I, and I do this, it will explode. Yeah, in contact with anything, which is pretty broken. So all of these TNTs have been kind of broken so far. Next up, we got the Shockwave TNT. So as you know, we're just going to spawn more villagers, just the victims of this, but like some an option, and it will create a Shockwave. Now, the TNT looks pretty cool, and boom, just like that. Pretty simple, but pretty effective. And now it's just a clean land here, so just more more villagers. Sorry, you all have to die. I'm sorry. I'm surely using husk. Like, villagers haven't really done anything wrong, but you know. Anyways, now we got the Trap TNT. That's a trap TNT. I'm pretty sure I forgot what it is. Anyways, now we got the Sonic TNT. Let's see what this does. Yeah. So it basically creates like a shockwave, and if you touch it, you automatically die. Anyways, now we got the proxy TNT. Now this is a pretty funny one. One of my favorite. You know why? Because when you place it, once it actually explodes, you could probably see what's gonna happen. But once it does explode, there are actually four little TNTs that come out and explode again. It's pretty fun to use, especially if you like spam it. But obviously, I don't want to spam it. But it's like a lag my device. But like it's fine. Anyways, we got some more. We got the disco TNT. Now this one's pretty funny, as you can see. Look. All the villagers actually start dancing to it, and it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, next we got the nether TNT. Now, it's probably going to kill all the villagers, but it, uh, yeah, hopefully, maybe some of them might survive this one. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, wait, one of them survived. They're just burning. Okay, no, it just died. But, uh, yeah, okay. Anyways, that's the nether TNT. It, it makes a massive explosion and obviously sets everything on fire. Now we have three more TNTs. Now, the lucky TNT is actually a pretty special one. Because as you can see, once you place it down, it's not like a normal TNT. And I'll show you why. If I go on survival mode and I do this, look what's going to happen. It's kind of like a lucky block, except like as in a TNT. Yeah, so basically, it creates a random event that will happen, kind of like Lucky Blocks. Now, now if you don't know what Lucky Blocks are, every time you mine a Lucky Block, something random could happen, either good or bad. That's kind of what the Lucky TNT is. It's literally just that, except as, a, as in TNT form. So obviously, I just got unlucky and got a, a anvil to my head, but that's annoying. So anyways, if we do it again, let's see what we get. Hopefully, this, I'm not stopping until I get something good, bro. I don't care. That, that's stupid. If I die again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Um, what? All right, so I just got some extra. I got a shockwave. All right, yeah, as you can see, just random stuff happen, either good or bad. Next up, we have the polar TNT. Then this one's pretty cool because, as you can see, when you use the polar TNT, it actually freezes every th every single mob in sight. Okay, use a snowball to my friend. Still, but it actually freezes every mod, and you'll see how, how that works right now. It freezes every single mob in the vicinity, which is pretty OP. Wait, I think that one just escaped. But anyways, um, yeah, which is pretty broken. So now all of them are just gonna you know stay there forever because they're villagers and they can't mine. But we can break it out with this throwable TNT. This just explodes. Yeah, these ones are just throwable TNT that take a set time to explode, but they're pretty broken because you can just spam it like this and it's kind of stupid how you can just do that, but who cares? Anyways, gonna make sure all of them- Yeah, I just made a massive crater on the ground, but you know, it should be fine. Anyways, that is the TNT mod, one of my favorites. I actually love the TNT mod. There's so many TNT, but you know, it's fun. Anyways, now we're gonna go into the next mod. All right, now Tinker's Construct Light is basically an add-on that just features a whole bunch of stuff. Now, there are over 250 to unique weapons, armor, and tools to craft, and a bunch of new blocks to make, and it's just crazy. There's just so much stuff in this game that there is, I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to show it in this video alone, because I'm trying to make this brief, but basically what this does is it just makes it so that there are way more, there's just so much stuff. There's a lot more stuff have been added to the game. For example, there are new weapons like this, like the diamond cleaver, um, an iron sword, but with different time, of, like undead to magnetic, like stuff like that. There's just so much stuff. For example, we have a new weapon called the earth slime sling i'll just um demonstrate what it does basically the longer you charge it the longer you hold it for the higher you go for example this has been charged for like 10 seconds and i'm already going pretty high now i'm actually going to charge it for one whole minute and i'll just show you what it does all right that's been a minute let's see how high i go Okay, well, uh, so I've reached Y 1295. That is okay, but yeah, that's gonna take a while to fall down, anyways. So, basically, that's a pretty cool weapon you can just use. Um, now I'm finally reaching ground, but basically, there's just a whole bunch of stuff in this game. There are so much stuff. Like, now, if you want more information, when you do install the mod, do you actually get this guidebook? It's a very, very big book that just tells you everything you need to know about the game, how the crafting works, how everything just works, the different types of stuff and it's very helpful 
if you want to read that. Yeah, that's Tinker's Construct Light. I, I highly recommend this mod. It just adds so much stuff to the game. For example, Diamond Pickaxe Head. You can craft a Diamond Pickaxe with that and just makes, you know, crafting in ways that you could never do in normal Minecraft. So I highly recommend the mod. Very fun mod to use. So much stuff. Just so much stuff to do. For example, EFLN. Explodes on impact. You throw it. Boom. Oh, I missed it. My bad. Okay, but boom. You just free explosions. Boom, boom, boom. I love explosions. Everyone loves explosions. Who doesn't? Anyways. And a molten diamond bucket, molten iron bucket, molten emerald bucket, molten... You know, so much stuff. There's a bunch of stuff. We also have goggles, pigman heads, you know, it's all this stuff. We got the husk. I mean, that's a, not a husk. It's a blaze head. We just got so much stuff in the game. That's why there's just no way I'm going to be able to do it in this one video alone. So anyways, that is a good mod to have. Now, the next mod we have isn't actually a mod. It's more like a world. But like, I just thought that I'll still include it in the game because it's very, very cool now this world is really really cool because as you can see we're basically in the middle ages right now this is called the stone hill castle which is right there on a mountain and it's been stripped straight out of the middle ages like it is an almost it's it's basically an exact replica well, not exact but like it's obviously a replicant of what it was like in the middle ages now these are obviously you know middle ages people and as you can see these are all the houses and stuff to complement the high fantasy setting all of this stuff now this is where the cool stuff happens this is the actual castle now, I'm pretty sure in the middle, in the, in the olden times, and this, this was like basically like a, like for the, I don't know, like the kings and queens and stuff. These are probably where the kings and castle, um, kings and queens live, obviously, because it's a castle, so that would make the most sense. And these are like all the nobles and stuff, like the knights, you know, all that stuff. This basically complements all that. Even the chests, like this is very, very high quality. Even the chests have been filled to like replicate what it was like. There are horses, there are villages. It's just crazy how like there's so much design and like there are even houses here. Now, I actually do not know what what this is. There's, there are houses here. I don't know what part it is, but it's probably just more houses just to complement the setting and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna break the window because I can't find the door, but um, yeah, okay, anyways. We can also see just more chests and stuff, which is pretty cool. If you're a history enthusiast, highly recommend the mod. Highly, well, it's not a mod, it's a world, but like, if you're a history enthusiast, highly recommend it, because this would probably be one of the coolest Mi Minecraft you've ever downloaded it. I'm telling you right now. Anyways, I just cannot imagine. I can't imagine how long this might have taken. Like, I can't even build a, a village house. I can't. Like, I, I physically cannot. Like, I suck at it so um, badly. Imagine how long this might have taken. They even made a whole farm. A whole farm for, for like the, probably like the, because I, I know that in the olden times, peasants would work on the farms. There, they used to be farmers and stuff in the olden times. So they probably would have worked on this kind of region. This kind of, this would have been their labor. And it's funny how they're the ones who actually worked the hardest, but they got paid the, le the least amount because, you know, they were peasants. So it's kind of stupid, the noble hierarchy of that time. But, you know, it, it is what it was. Uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy anyways. And the kings would just be sitting there eating all their food like King Henry the eighth and just like he was a, anyways i should probably not be talking about history right now anyway well actually i should this is the whole map but you know anyways so that is a pretty cool map i should probably turn my cloud render distance off because it's kind of ruining everything but do it later now that's actually the mod highly recommend it anyways now we're going to move on the onto the final mob mod mod what now for all you bath bomb enthusiasts i highly recommend this mod basically what it does it gives you four different types of bath bombs and they all have different types of abilities. For example, well, actually, they all share a common one, which is pacifying any hostile mobs. So I'll show you what this means. For example, if I get a husk spawn egg, and oh no, they're, I'm getting chased by a husk. Basically, what I need to do, this works for all of them, but I'll just use a twilight one for now. It's pretty cool. If I throw it to them, boom, they become completely pacified. They're neutral. They don't do anything. Even if I hit them, you know, I don't want to hit them out of the thing. What the? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, and also it gives you regeneration three. And this one called the intergalactic one, if I just spawn a bunch of husks, boom, same exact thing, but except they actually levitate, and it's it pretty, I don't know, what, what, why is that one not? Okay, anyways, they look pretty cool, and, and when I go in it, I also get jump boost five and slow falling three, so I don't take any damage, which is pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure these ones do last for a minute. Now, I'm giving you a brief overview of each one, but there is, oh, I threw another one, there's also a book that actually tells you what each of them do, you can read all of that when you want to, once you download the mod, you do download the mod, anyways. Now, for example, we have another one, the big blue bath bomb. If I throw all of them, all of them husks, boom. Completely pacified, and I get resistance and speed. Now it's pretty loud, so I should probably get out of there. But also, I get like a little effect, like that follows me around. So if I go in third person front, as you can see, there's like an effect that follows me around, and it includes all of these. So it's pretty cool. And the cool part about this, if you throw any of these um intergalactic bath bombs at lava, they automatically turn to obsidian. So that's just pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to know. And last one, we got the lakes bath bomb. So I'll just you know more husk. I don't like using husk, but like it should be fine. And the baby just ruins everything. Okay, boom. Throw it there. As you can see, same thing. Wait, um, it's too small to actually watch. 
bro, you, you know what, should be fine. But I get also more. And this is pretty cool. So imagine just being survival, getting chased by all these. How do some of them keep escaping, bro? I don't get it. But anyways, imagine just being survival and you're about to die and then all, all you have these bath bombs. Now, if you're actually, uh, I don't actually know what, now, once again, these dumb hoss keep trying to kill me, but luckily I have the bath ones, so it's fine. I, I used a lot, but anyways, now, if you do want to actually craft them in survival, craft this type of thing in survival, you need to actually go to this village. Basically, they're always lying around with the sniffer and like a little cart here, but you actually need, oh my. All right. Now, if you want to craft these things in survival, as you can see, if you go on the crafting table and you search up bath bombs, you need all of these weird looking plants. Now, the only way to get these plants is by going to this villages and seeing what they offer now as you can see they do offer all of the plants but you do need emeralds you can't just get it the bath bomb straight away but you do need five emeralds for that and you got to find all of these ones to get all the ingredients they're always lying around somewhere they're I'm pretty sure they're just naturally spawn now with this mod so that, that's a pretty good challenge in survival so you can do pretty cool stuff with this yeah also these don't actually last forever these effects they go away within like a minute so you gotta like be wary of that you can't just stay there for example i don't know why they just all got super speed now but it's pretty annoying so for example i just want it back boom back so it's pretty cool pretty cool mod highly recommended for bath bombs enthusiasts and yeah now if you did like this video please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and try watching some of my other videos awesome this is my friend's channel so um it'll be in the description below make sure to subscribe to him and see you in the next one